So when multiplying decimals, pupils can first of all go wrong setting out the calculation. If they are trying to line up the digits as they would with column addition, they may try and put the 3 underneath the 2 in this calculation because they're both units. And they may still then be able to work out the calculation correctly, but it's going to get trickier as they work with larger and trickier numbers. A more common mistake is for them to put the 3 right over on this side so it lines up because that's the way our column method looks. And then to fill in the gaps because they think it's got to line up as if we were uh, lining up decimals where the decimal points line up under each other. If pupils set out the calculation correctly with the decimal, they may then multiply 6 by 4 and get 24 and they may view this as a separate part of the calculation and so write 24 on this side of a decimal point and then go on on this side to do 2 multiplied by 6 is 12. So they just need to remember that this 2 here is actually going to be two whole ones because this is tenths, 24 tenths would be two whole ones. If they miss out the decimal point to start, and work out 6 times 4 is 24, and 2 times 6 is 12, add on 2 is 4, then they can see that the answer is very different and they can put the decimal point in with one digit after it, tenths, and put a decimal point in here so that there is one digit again after it, so it's got tenths.